Hey guys, Tween Swag here, and uh, it has been a while since my last video. I've been going through a pretty significant uh, job transition on my end, and so that's why I haven't streamed in like four weeks and haven't had any content up for a little while. Uh, I am getting back into the swing of things now, so hopefully we'll get some, uh, some more content up uh, pretty regularly again. Uh, but I do have a pretty cool update today, uh, some really exciting stuff on the Battlefield 2 Modern Combat fan remake. I have had several people on YouTube and other platforms ask me if this game is available online and unfortunately the answer is no. Uh, however, if you did not know, uh, I'm a part of a team that is doing a fan remake. Uh, I'm not doing any of the development, I'm just doing the fun stuff like posting YouTube videos and doing content to support it. Uh, but there are some people hard at work right now who are working on the development aspect of this game and that's what this update is all about. What you're seeing in the corner is a Skype call that took place between Epix and Bradley and JMM Review, three guys who are very active in our Discord and active in the project. And uh, this Skype call actually took place about three weeks ago, two weeks ago, um, and I am getting this video up late. Uh, but if you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch the whole thing right there, right there. There it is, probably right about there. Uh, and um, you can uh, follow that link, you can watch the whole thing. But I just wanted to, in this video, just show a couple of highlights that have me super, super excited about uh, the direction of this project. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show those highlights right here. Yeah, so this is obviously, this isn't anything special. Like we spent, I spent about, I think an hour putting this little turd together and it was just based off of, you can kind of see, I, I laid down oh, the, yeah, yeah, I see the, the picture and, uh -huh. then, and then just did the height off of memory so it's nothing yeah. specific or anything and i put a couple of squares to represent some of the buildings and so it's nothing you know to it's just yeah off. yeah you're just getting the general shape and right line of the the map yeah exactly so i only had this extremely low resolution picture to go off of and mm. there's like like you were saying there's like nothing out there so i was you know i just kind of went with this one and and just uh yeah I said, okay, whatever. I mostly want to focus on the actual gameplay. So we should only be able to pick up, I can't remember which one it is. So that's obviously this is his flag because he can't pick it up. Mm -hmm. And then if I go to this one, he can pick it up. And then yeah. I go over here and he captures it. Now nice. you can see he's got five points. So that's more or less what I did. There's a couple little bugs in it that I want to work out tonight. But if I were to switch to this guy, I got to set his team real quick. Now he can take that flag, and then if I go to whoops, this one. Oh, you have to, you have to, you're gonna have to kill the other guy to get his flag back. Exactly. Off. <laughs> so see, I can't, I can't capture it now. Oh yeah, that's nice. So that's really good. Pretty simple, but uh, yeah, that's cool. Work in progress, and it's all obviously as you can see it's all replicated. It works across uh, the network. These are two remote clients talking right. to a dedicated server. Yeah, it started working. Obviously, I spent like four minutes on oh, this. Yeah, but yeah I was trying player. to get all of these little elements right and yeah, then yeah, yeah. that's the other thing i was looking for is like the font you know i don't know if mm -hmm. you're trying to find so it's the same sort of uh because that was a really kind of a hard to read font at times and, yeah. it, and they had the black shadow behind every letter you yeah. know things like that that I, i've been paying attention to in the last couple of days because like i've been really getting into it the last couple of days <laughs> but um so those yeah i i have a couple ideas on to do. Um, what about your initializing? Oh, oh yeah, I, I actually started. I was I was. Uh, this should throw you back. Let's see. Is this gonna have it? I have the, uh, the oh, PS2. Nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. That's the nest, you guys. Like that's the nest. I haven't seen that map since like the day the PS2 servers were shut down. And this is obviously super early in development. Like literally week one. So as far as implementing design into interactive environment. Uh, but seeing even the bare bones in the primitive state gets me so excited for what could be coming. One of the questions that was asked during the Skype call was, what elements do you want to see us get right? Which I think is an excellent question. In a fan remake, obviously we are passionate about the game, to the point of doing this in our spare time and out of pocket. So we want to see this as true to the original as possible. But the reality is no remake is perfect. So I'll toss out three things that I hope we do get right. First one is game mechanics. Now, since this is an older game designed and finished around 2004, 2005, they may feel old and clunky, but that's part of what encapsulates the experience of playing older games. I'm not gonna try and play Mario 64 with dual analog sticks, a sprint mechanic that wasn't there, or really any mechanic that wasn't designed to the original true fit. 
I'm gonna play the game on my N64 with my N64 controller. So that being said, hosting this game on PC with a gamepad will be different than the original Xbox or a PS2 controller. So button mapping to a gamepad or Xbox One controller or whatever system works for this remake will hopefully be as true to the original as possible and communicate well to the mechanics we're able to develop in the engine. Second is map design. This is one area where I'm actually not worried at all in that we do have accurate overhead images of every map. So the shape, location of buildings and objectives will not be lost to time. The downside is that there really are only a few maps that we have good video gameplay of, since at the peak of this game, it was an era where very few people had capture cards. So some of the detail and the accurate playability of some of the lesser played maps may be literally done by memory, which since there are a number of us in the community that played this game out pretty extensively, I don't think that's going to be an issue, but it is something to consider. I have high hopes for the map design as I think everyone on the team sees both the importance of not altering the maps in any way and the excellent that was the peak of DICE map development. That's right, I said it, the peak. As I've said in previous videos, I truly think that map design for Battlefield 2 Modern Combat was the peak of excellence for map design for DICE and the Battlefield series. Battlefield 3 was another excellent installment and, and some of my favorite maps of all time and the same can definitely be said of uh, the Battlefield 1 base maps. But Battlefield 2 is, to this day, the only game I've ever played in any genre where I did not want to skip any map. They simply were all that good. In my opinion. Last but certainly not least, community. We are in the early stages of rebuilding this lost community of gamers through YouTube comment, EA forums, Reddit, Twitter, and Discord, and all over the place. As I said before, it's been over five years since we had PS2 access and over a decade since we had access to the Xbox servers. And in internet years, that's a long time, like a really long time. So our difficult task is now casting a wide enough net through the online content to regather this community. The likes of which I've yet to experience in any other game. The truth of the matter is we are a worldwide community. We have players in every time zone in the USA, Brazil, Europe, Australia, and all over the world. So getting enough people online to actually play and test the game at the early stages may be a significant hurdle. But in the final years of the original online experience, that's exactly what this community was all about. Playing at certain hours, certain nights of the week, so that we had enough players to fill a lobby. So as a result, you often played with the same group of people creating new friends, creating new rivalries, and creating new battlefield moments. So really, I think this community is gonna pick up right where we left off. So there's a lot of momentum in this project and we'd love for you guys to stay connected with it. So if you wanna stay up to date on all things Battlefield 2 Modern Combat, uh, please subscribe and also subscribe to JMM Review who's really uh, taken this thing forward. Uh, but more importantly than that, we'd love to actually connect with you guys on a personal level. So please join the Discord uh, and it's a great place to get connected in the project if you guys would like to help in any way. Uh, all right, so that's it for this one. Tango Whiskey, 33 November, signing off.